Hello everybody, so today I'm going to show you what I did to my pyraminx to make it better. Now, if you already have a pyraminx and you didn't modify it, as you might know it's very clicky with the ball bearings inside. Now here's a clip I took of my review video, out of my, uh, a box say review video. Yeah, so it's very clicky. But now, it's much less clicky. Okay, so this is what I did to it. One, I removed two ball bearings on each side. And I don't know how this is possible, but this appears to have two ball bearings inside. So I'm going to remove that and show you how. And this one has all the ball bearings inside, but I couldn't get them out, so only one actually sticks up. And this side also has two. So this one's removed. Right there. So it's two. Let's see. This one has all three inside, except only one sticks up. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how I did it. Oh, wait, no. Also, as you may can, as you, uh, as you may see here, the edges where the points that go down to the centers, I rounded them off because sometimes when it's middle of the line like this and I move it, this edge might get caught on this center because they're sharp edges moving on top of each other. But now they're nice smooth edges. Basically like the metal edge pieces and the corner pieces this is of a V-Cube 6. Um, sharp sharp edges when they move together pops out. So yeah, this thing locks up. I am going to show you how I did it. So for the edge mod, I took out all the edges. I sanded out only these two. And I used my rough staff paper. ADD course. So I just put it down flat like this, move a little bit and gradually put it up to the point. When I was about like that, I turned it around, did the same thing on the other side, of the same color. It was like that. First I did it on this side till it's pretty round, then did it on this side until it's pretty round. Then it just rounded it off, did the thing for this side, and did the same thing for all the edges. Now I can't re remove the clicky clicking mechanism for the t tips because of the like break the triangle t tetrahedron, I think. So yeah, and for the ball bearings, just a second, let me find the. Uh, here we go. You should take out all your pieces, but I'm just taking one out. Just for an example. You will need a very tiny flathead screwdriver. Apparently, my first tried this video. I don't know why, but somehow didn't get the actual how to do this part on video. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm too lazy to get the tripod. So first, take out all your edge pieces. But for a demonstration, I'm only gonna. I am only going to take out one. Take your little midget flathead screwdriver. Let's see. Now, as you may see here, this one I took out, uh, one I took out, it's hollow inside. Now, there will be something like this, a barrel inside that. Now, what you want is stick your screwdriver down into the seam 
in between the barrel and the hole so just stick it in there once once you feel like you got a nice firm grip just, just lift up it should be about do that a couple of times until it's about oh great just push it back in okay so stick it in there and do it till it's about five a couple of till it's about that much out and all I have to do is take a pair of pliers put it on there and take it out that's it for the barrel for the yeah, um for the ball bearing mod there we go so that's it for my modification and thank you for watching this video